Ukraine's new long-range strike drone a real threat to Russia? Ole Katkov, editor-in-chief of the Defense Express Ministry portal, told Envy about the capabilities of Ukraine's new AQ-400 Skyv long-range kamikaze drone and which enemy targets it will likely be used against. The military has recently received the first batch of domestically produced long-range kamikaze drones AQ-400 Skyv. AQ-400 Skyv has a range of 750 km and a cruising speed of 144 km an hour according to the declared characteristics. At the same time, the drone can stay in the air for six and a half hours and carry 32 kg of explosive payload. However, according to the developer, the payload mass can be increased to 70 kg at the cost of a reduced flight range. The drone can be launched from a short runway or a catapult. Katkov said that these drones are cheap. In addition to the technical parameters declared by the developer, such as range and payload mass, when it comes to long-range aircraft projectiles, it's crucial to evaluate their cost, because such means of destruction can fulfill their conceptual tasks only if they are mass-produced and widely used. Look, when Russia launches an average of over 300 Shahed drones at Ukraine every month, Ukraine's air defense generally neutralizes 85 to 90 percent of them. But despite this, a certain number of Shahed drones still break through and cause damage while diverting significant resources to counter them, he added. According to the expert, therefore, on the part of Ukraine, we should be talking about both similar volumes and similar concentrated use of kamikaze drones for strikes deep into enemy territory. Moreover, such means of destruction are apparently the only way for Ukraine to launch long-range strikes on enemy territory, given the ban on using Western weapons to strike Russia's sovereign territory. As for the stated conditions for launching the AQ-400 Skyth from a catapult or runway, it may be downplaying that feature, but such drones can be launched even from the roof of a car that accelerates on a straight section of a track, or even make a UAV on a landing gear that detaches after the drone is airborne. That is, the cheaper the launch, the better, he said.